which get installed and click next so for the domain controller when we are promoting any machine to the domain controller by default group policy management is get selected windows defender is selected remote server administration tools will be selected by default so i'm not adding anything additional click next next so these are the tools just to verify and hit install so features got installed now we have to promote this to the domain controller promote this server to a domain controller click on this first option is add a domain controller to an existing domain so that what we are doing so we are not adding a new domain controller to the existing forest we are not doing that and we are not doing a add a new forest we are not adding a new forest we are just adding a domain controller to a existing domain so it's an additional domain controller click on change so I have created the super user uh, enterprise admin account so I'm using that account to log in So as soon as I give the credentials, you see it's automatically populates the domain. Suppose if we are having a more domain controllers in a forest, so it should it will show the number of all the domain controllers. But for now, in our forest, we have only one domain. Selecting that, click next. So these are the default options, domain name DNS, it will replicate from that and it creates a global catalog and we are not doing the read only domain controller. This is not a read only domain controller. So read only domain controllers are used at the branch locations. There is no administrator. We are just keeping the read only domain controller day in that location so that it keep replicate from our primary domain controller so we are not creating a read only domain controller we are leaving it as blank and uh, unchecking that and site name so by default we have we have not given any site name so we are selecting a, this is the first site so this is the password we have to keep it secure if we want to restore if anything goes wrong we have to use this password and login entry to use the restore next Next. So here we are selecting uh, from which domain all the features Active Directory's DNS should replicate. So we are selecting this is the primary domain controller now. Click the next button. I'm I'm not changing a database folder. I'm not changing a location for the log file, not changing the syswall folder. Click next. 
and here it will show the it will ask us to review this if any changes needed click next prerequisite need to be validated so these are just a warnings we can ignore for now so all prerequisite checks passed successfully click install to begin so i just started i'm just clicking the install to begin So here it is showing what are the steps it is performing. So it's configuring a DNS server. So it logs sign out and uh, machine will get reboot. So as this is the second domain controller, additional domain controller. So, so now the machine is online. So I'm logging in with the enterprise admin account. So as soon as we log in, the first thing we have to take care is network. As I mentioned earlier, so this is a, this will act as a DNS server as well. So I'll be adding a, I'll be updating a IP. So it got added here. I'm going to the network. And here I we can give it as a 17 sorry 127 001 it is the loopback IP or we can add a DNS as and the same IP of this server and on going back to the active directory on a primary dom domain controller I'm changing it here as well giving it as 12 and 11 the local so once that is done we'll be going to
I'm going to the additional domain controller now and under this Active Directory Users and Computers. See the domain controllers here. These are the two. It got added. And we can check the sites and services. This I am doing it on a additional domain controller. So default sites and this is the name we have given there because we haven't remember initially we have created a while creating it I'll ask for the sites. So this is the default site. We can create a separate site as well here. So here you will be seeing uh, servers. So these are the two servers. Showing connected. And here it's not showing as replicated. Its replication is not showing. We are not getting any results. directory domain services on domain controller application topology to this Services has been replicated. It's seeing the same on both the boxes. I'll be performing the same step on a primary domain controller. So here it's showing a replication it uh, is in pro in process on a primary domain controller. Let's check again on this one. Yep. Here now we can see the NTDS. To verify the replication is happening properly. We'll be going to the command prompt or a PowerShell window with the admin with the elevative access. We'll be typing a command rep admin slash repl summary. So we don't see any errors and everything is replicating properly. We have a one more option to check the time intervals between the two domain controllers sync. So for that, by default, it's 180 minutes. So we can change that 
as per our requirement as per the company policy so to check that we have to go to the active directory sites and services inter site transport ip address and default ip thing and properties under properties it will show replicate every 180 minutes so we can change this change the schedule like how frequently or at what time we can do a replication as well we can change the time but by default we'll be keeping it as 180 we are not changing anything here see you in the next video thank you thank you very much